Vitalian have got a fresh new line of bindings for this season with some really smart features and incredible looking design. I've got the Astro with me here. It's one of their most specced out performance focused binders for intermediate and advanced all mountain riders, stacked full of comfort, power and response. Let's take a closer look at it. Okay, so starting with the binding chassis, Battalion are using their full wrap platform. It's made from tempered aerospace grade aluminium and you can see that it wraps around both sides of the base plate with these four points of contact. This gives you instant power transfer without sacrificing any of the lateral flex. So not only is this incredibly lightweight, it's also extremely durable and effectively wraps the boot in this very responsive platform, which gives you really good stability and support, whether you're gunning it on the piece or sticking a landing in the park. Taking a look at the base plate next, it's built from a glass nylon composite, but what I really like is just how much support and cushioning is on offer here. So the dual density foot pad combines a really durable rubber top layer with an EVA foam core for a whole bunch of dampening and support. They're also adjustable, so you can choose from three different foot pad positions to get them lined up perfectly with your boots. And then the two degrees of canting gives you slightly more of a natural stance to alleviate some of the stress on your knees and also allows you to distribute pressure more effectively out towards the ends of the board. Okay, let's take a look at the straps next. And for me, the Infinity straps are some of the most comfortable and form-fitting ones out there. Even with all these perforations throughout, the strap has a really solid structure to it and the pre-curved design allows it to take the form of pretty much any boot out there and distribute pressure evenly without any pressure points. You've also got the spine running through the center which dials up some of that lateral response. The toe straps use an auxetic design. Now this is something we first saw from Rome and then more recently from Nidecker bindings as well and I'm a huge fan of how well they work. This sort of hinged grid-like pattern expands as you tighten it over your boots and it takes the form of any shape and size of toe box which gives you a super well connected and really comfortable fit that never works itself loose. And then some of the smaller design features which you may not spot until you're on the mountain are things like the pre-curved ladder straps that pop into a more open position when they're undone and then the aluminium ratchets with triple tooth action, all of which will have you strapping in in less time and with less hassle. Okay, lastly, let's take a look at the high back, which I've got to say, I think looks really sick. The glass nylon composite gives you a super supportive mid stiffness flex, which will have plenty of rebound between your heel to toe turns, but enough lateral play to give you a bit more mobility when you're tweaking and riding through the park. And as well as the forward lean adjustment, you can also rotate the angle of the high back relative to your heel edge, and that's going to allow you to get the most supported and connected fit at the back of your boots. Speaking of which, there's also this rubber traction pad integrated at the bottom of the high back, and that's going to add some extra contact and grip to your snowboard boots when you're strapping in. Flexwise Battalion are giving these a rating of 8 out of 10, which makes the Astro tied as their stiffest binding in the line. But that's not to say it's an absolute knife in terms of razor sharp precision and no forgiveness. There's still a good amount of flex in the straps and the high backs, but it does mean that they're more catered towards pretty aggressive and confident all mountain riders. That's about it for me and the new Battalion Astro bindings. You can check out their whole line over on the website where they've got some more park focused and softer flexing options as well. But for me, the Astro is the one that I think has the broadest appeal to a huge spectrum of riders. If you've got any questions, please stick them down below in the comments. And if you haven't already, please do also subscribe to the channel and we'll be bringing you more snowboard gear reviews throughout the season. Thanks again for watching guys. See you in the next one.